Kaizen the Japanese Technique Book Summary Kaizen the Japanese Technique by Sarah Harvey teaches us about personal life and a flexible approach, which everyone can use to make desirable changes in health, money, relationships, and many other life areas. If you are interested in changing the life into an impactful life, this book is just written for you. What is Kaizen? How does Kaizen process work? All this we will understand from the book Kaizen the Japanese Method for Transforming Habits, One Small Step at a Time, by Sarah Harvey. Sarah Harvey's book Kaizen teaches us about personal life and a flexible approach, which everyone can use to make desirable changes in health, money, relationships, and many other life areas. For whom is this useful? This book is for those. One those interested in learning about Japan and Eastern philosophy. Two who wants to change their old habits. Three to improve their life but do not understand where to start. For those who learn many self-improvement techniques, but none of them are working for them in their personal lives. They want to learn some techniques that work for them in their personal life and a flexible approach to benefit from them. Kaizen means improvement from small to significant improvement. The Kaizen method encourages you to set a personal goal to make changes for yourself. Then, start small and move towards the big goal one by one. To take advantage of Kaizen in the corporate sector, set small goals in the essential aspects of the organization and achieve them and move towards big. The root of Kaizen means the major lesson of Kaizen is that, according to this concept, we should improve in every critical area in life and improve by focusing on one small task at a time and then on the other. Must proceed. If we talk about the history of Kaizen, it was born after the devastation of the Second World War. When America's atomic bomb caused significant damage to Hiroshima and Nagasaki, Japan, after that Japan did not do anything properly for five years after so much destruction, but after that Japan used this technique, first of all, to improve its textile industry and by improving every small part of it, in these while improving, he became the number one company of the textile industry in the next 10 years. After that, Japan made its foray into the automobile sector and adopted the same technology in the automobile sector, improving every small part and every tiny aspect. In the next 10 years, Japan became the world's number one automobile industry. And Japan is number one in the world in many fields of business, following this same Kaizen method. And today, we all know about his success, whether it is their advanced technology, robot, or anything else, we all know its success is achieved by adopting the same method. To improve the corporate sector of Japan, according to the Kaizen method, at least two suggestions are taken from each employee to improve the company throughout the year. An improvement is made in the company by implementing the best 100 suggestions. Similarly, if you want to use this self-improvement method, make minor improvements in essential and different areas of life, which you can feel and see. For example, if you want to be healthy, make a slight improvement in food, improve your way of thinking to move forward, similarly, to move forward towards success, make small changes in your actions that you can see. This is the advice of Kaizen that helped companies and many great people to succeed. Chapter 1 how to start it. The best thing about Kaizen is that when you learn how to use it, it becomes flexible and personalized for you, which you can use in any area of your life and improve. The Kaizen method does not tell anyone to fix the method, which everyone should adopt, no matter the situation. Instead, according to the Kaizen method, first, we have to see our problem, observe the slightest problem and make a minor improvement to find its solution and small improvements must be made continuously so that one day will completely fix that problem and you can achieve what you want. If you understand it in easy language, find the problem in any area of your life. It can be health area, thinking, or financial area. There can be a relationship area. In this way, find the problems in the areas of life. If you want to be healthier in the health area. 1. Follow the necessary diet plan. 2. Do the required exercise, and start small. 3. Improve one by one until you achieve your desired healthy target. 
Similarly, if there is a financial problem in your life right now, if there is a shortage of money, then start with small steps to fix it and make more money. Save at least, invest less. And read books to get the necessary information, even if you start reading a page daily. And thus, continue to improve continuously, learning how to make savings, invest, become rich and implement small steps. In doing so, you will find that you can solve your financial problems after a few months or years. This is because they are also thriving and achieving their desired financial goals. And always think optimistic, how can you get the items you want? Instead of thinking, I can't have it. Chapter 2, Using Kaizen in Health Kaizen method in health means making minor improvements to improve your health. Improving health includes everything from increasing your weight to reducing weight and building a fit body. For this, first of all, start exercising every day. Start by walking for exercise. Start with the least time you can walk, even if it's 100 or 200 meters initially. Then, start by doing exercises like plank and juggling. The practice also includes morning walking, running, essential training, walking, and dancing activities to get goods in the market. Apart from this, start increasing healthy foods, green vegetables, nut foods, and avoiding fast foods in the necessary diet to stay healthy. According to Kaizen, keep improving the walking, running, and dieting done in the beginning, improve the walking and running time, and improve the speed over time. Along with this, sleep well, get at least 7 to 8 hours of sleep, and start feeling healthy because the more you feel healthy, the more healthy hormones you will create inside you, which will go a long way in becoming and staying healthy. Apart from this, talking about a healthy diet, do water conservation as much as possible, meaning drink water. Start small and keep improving it over time. You can also take the help of applications like technology timer and to-do list to keep yourself on track and check improvements. Try to maintain the body's water level and eat more water-sourced fruits, such as oranges. And the Kaizen method says that to stay healthy, eat as much as possible for breakfast, a little less in lunch, and at least dinner, and sleep on time. And as we all know that eating healthy foods can help you stay healthy, so add more and more nutritious foods like bananas, apples, etc., to your breakfast, lunch, and dinner in your diet plan. Avoid conserving too much sugar. Because scientifically, it has been proved that eating more sugar or sugar, there is a blood circulation effect in our body, which harms both mental and physical health. And measure your food for a disciplined diet, how much bread, vegetables, and fruits you have to eat in breakfast, similarly in lunch and dinner, and so on at other times. And by continuously improving exercise and diet, starting with small actions, move towards your desired goal. Chapter 3, Use of Kaizen in Work In this chapter, we will discuss how you can improve your working environment using the Kaizen method, how to be good at your work and achieve your desired results by becoming good. Use these methods to improve your workplace according to the Kaizen method. In everyday situations, Work in the outside sky area or put such white light in the room for maximum whiteness. Put positive and success-related photos around you. To stay healthy and environment-friendly, plant trees around the workplace. And maintain it in your bus through perfume etc. The most important thing that we all know is to maintain cleanliness. Apart from this, to be active in your work and to make break time more productive, do basic small exercises or walk outside during break time, read books that teach positive and happy living, or talk to someone who can help you to talk. May you be happy, and to keep your mind calm and focused at work, use the 5-minute lunch break meditation technique. For this, sit in a quiet place at lunchtime, close your eyes, and set a 5-minute timer alarm on your mobile. Focus on your breath, slowly inhale the breath, and slowly exhale. As you feel your breath and emotions, your focus on work increases. In this way, slowly open your eyes, rub your hands, and first look at your hands when the time is over. Then slowly move your hands away from the eyes and feel calm. By doing this, you will feel relaxed and focused. 
If you want to improve your working day and achieve the desired results while working with enjoyment, then maintain a work-life balance. Means and work give time to other things like health and relationships. Due to this, happy hormones increase in our minds, resulting in the chances of productivity and focus improving more than before. Work with your team as much as possible. And try to work in a company whose ethics you like. And do the work of your choice because according to the Ikigai method, an essential secret of the success of Japanese people, doing our passionate work increases our productivity and chances of success by 80-90% to 90 more than before. And check your set target and achieve it. Take necessary break time, time to time, and try to do the work with enjoyment. Start these methods with small steps to improve your work and keep improving continuously. Chapter 4 Use of Kaizen Method for Money Making According to the Kaizen Method, you should start improving it over time by creating small savings and assets according to your condition, which will help you become financially free, become rich and increase your net worth. First, look at your expenses. Where do you spend how much money? How much money do you spend on savings? How much do you invest? And how much money do you spend on liability? How much money do you spend monthly on maintaining a lifestyle etc? And before making every expenditure, ask yourself the question, why do I have to pay this? If you get a helpful answer, which helps improve your financial life, then spend it, otherwise, avoid that expenditure. Use online money tracker application to manage your expenses. And after each of your costs, note down that expense in the application, see your entire week's fees every week plan to redo every significant expense, and avoid unnecessary expenses the next time. Similarly, this method follows monthly also. To increase the savings, first, look at your essential expenses like rent, grocery, medical, etc., from where you are buying it. Then, if things of the same quality are found cheaper elsewhere, start buying from there. Although in the beginning, you may have to invest some time in research for this, for some time, you will see the ROI as a considerable savings of your mouth, so invest time according to the need. And as we all know that money is earned by hard work, so don't be shy about spending it, negotiate where you feel that the price is high, because if you save even 10 Indian rupees, then that to you there will be held which are going to help you become rich somewhere. After saving money, invest it in a profitable asset to earn more money while keeping your money safe. For this, you can get the necessary financial knowledge and read books related to money management and financial data. Also, watch related sites, newspapers linked to the stock market, etc. Set short-term, mid-term, and long-term goals for your earnings, savings, investment, expenses, net worth, etc. Start as small as you can in the beginning and improve it occasionally. Then. Keep doing it until you achieve your desired financial goal. Chapter 5 Use of Kaizen Method for Home Management and Decoration Kaizen Method for Home Management and Decoration Manage them so that there is maximum space in the house and the things in the house can be adequately settled when needed. To keep the clothes properly, keep similar clothes such as shirt, t-shirt, and pant in one place, and recycle them as much as possible, which also has financial benefits. To correctly sell your books, newspapers, etc., first of all, be realistic about which books are critical and valuable for you. And after determining it, keep only valuable books and magazines and sell them to everyone else. Then, so that there is functional space left in the house, use them to reduce the usable area of the house from different extra unusual things and take advantage of them. Consider how you can use it for your benefit, like an old battery. Sentimental things mean something you have an emotional attachment to, think about that with a little mental aware instead of thinking only from feelings. Think about whether you must own those things right now. Is it beneficial to you or any other members at home? If you do not use it, can there be any harm? If not, sell them after being mentally aware so that the valuable space of the house remains. And take advantage of them by keeping the necessary sentimental things with you. And to improve the space in the house, always plan during settlement so that sunlight and air can come quickly and well in the place. 
For this, try to keep different things by categorizing your personal life. Try to keep something of one category and one color together. As we discussed earlier, doing this saves time, space, and energy. And you become able to use it for some significant work. And last but not least, like your workspace, keep perfume or aromatic things in your home to feel good at home so that the fragrance remains in the house. This Kaizen method is one of the ways for home management to start from the trim level and improve over time. Chapter 6 Kaizen Method and Relationship The relationship is essential to every human being's life and plays a vital role in increasing our happiness, emotions, and energy. In other words, it plays a significant role in driving our success. That's why we must stay in a relationship with the right people. Are you in a relationship with the right person? Is it benefiting you, or might it happen in the future? To know this thing, answer some questions like this to yourself, is. Is this person making similar efforts in a relationship with me? Is having this in my life adding some value to my life? Do I feel good about myself? When am I with them? Do I feel free with them? If you get positive answers to these questions, then hope you have a good relationship with them, and they will be good in the future. Therefore, build a strong relationship with them, and if the answers to their questions are harmful or damaging, distance yourself from that person as soon as possible. The first way to improve your relationship is to adopt thankfully. Thank you to that person for your faithful help, I sincerely appreciate it. And say thank you to that person every night while journaling, take whatever small action you can take for their happiness and success. Take every little effort to make both of you feel happy and free. And adopt these methods to turn a critical relationship into a happy life. First of all, understand their words patiently and advise them also, and do clear communication, whatever is in the heart. Tell the person in front clearly in a reasonable tone, if you think that the mistake is yours, then make the relationship happy. Live happily by apologizing for and remembering the good days with you. And commit to being together with each other in the future. Apart from this, to meet and make friends with new people, join groups of people related to your tribe or your thinking, go among such people, talk to them, and connect while communicating with them. And the essential relationship with all of these is the relationship with yourself. It is said that a person who can make a good relationship with himself can love himself and everyone in the world. So to love yourself, treat your body and an inner voice like your most faithful and best friends. Value your self-massage or inner voice, whatever commitment you make to yourself, and fulfill it. Be kind to yourself, and don't hurt yourself. Apart from this, to keep yourself physically and mentally strong, give yourself small challenging tasks and overcome them to achieve the desired goals. To build and maintain good relationships with yourself and others, start the Kaizen Method Relationship Method from the minor level according to your condition, and improve it over time to achieve your desired goal. Chapter 7 Hobby with the Kaizen Method These methods can help you a lot to identify and do your hobby. First of all, ask yourself the question, why do you want to do the work? Then, see what your passion in childhood was. Considering the intensity of youth and today, choose your favorite position. Set what your love is. Then, clarify why you are inspired to do it. Make sure that you will feel relaxed by doing this work. If you get positive answers to these questions, start following your passion and work on it with focus and work for one year to start seeing and feeling the results you want. You must have seen many people who say that they are starting their passion work, but after a few days or months of starting work, they do not feel like doing that work. This is because they may not know or implement the Kaizen method. But now, because we are only discussing this, let us know how to stay with your passion after recognizing it. Start working on your hobby with small actions and commit to giving some time to your hobby every day. Start with your favorite work related to your hobby. And at the same time, measure the work of your hobby, measure the progress in it, measure the results from your necessary activities, and see if you are moving towards the goal you want. If yes, then keep going like this. And if not, then change your methods. 
Similarly, to adopt new habits, start with small steps and make that habit by continuously improving. Conclusion So, friends, this is how we talked about the Kaizen method in this video, according to which you can improve in every area of life by starting with minor improvements and achieving the goals you want. I hope you learned a lot of essential things. Now adopt them in your life, make improvements in the critical parts of your life, and fulfill the dreams you want. Kaizen Book Review The book is a practical and engaging guide to the Kaizen philosophy of continuous improvement. The book is easy to read and provides actionable tips for implementing Kaizen in various areas of life, including work, health, and relationships. I must praise the author's use of real-life examples and case studies to illustrate the benefits of Kaizen and demonstrate how minor, incremental improvements can lead to significant long-term changes. Overall, I think Kaizen is a valuable resource for anyone looking to improve their lives in meaningful ways. I recommend the book to readers interested in personal growth and self-improvement. I hope you have enjoyed watching Kaizen, the Japanese Technique Book Summary. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share. See you in next videos.